welcome back to Mike's Garage. Sorry for the uh, long hiatus. It's been very hot here, plus I've been very busy with work lately. So I'm trying to get some more videos out to you a little bit uh, quicker. Today for you we've got a 2017 Wrangler Rubicon Hard Rock Edition. It's got the LED lights. It's got the 3.6 liter V6 engine with 285 horsepower, automatic transmission. Uh, this vehicle has a curb weight of 4,521 pounds. Ground clearance is about 10.1 inches. This will tow up to 2,000 pounds very easily. Fuel capacity in this is about 18.6 gallons, which gives about a 17 city, 21 highway miles per gallon. I'd say on the highway you're probably going to get, or with mixed driving you're probably going to get uh, well, maybe 19 probably not too great but that's still not bad for a Jeep. This engine puts out about 260 foot-pounds of torque. The base price is about $33,645 for the base two-door model. This one probably listed new. It doesn't belong to me so I would say it'd be about $48,000 would have been its new price roughly. This is the four-door model. Interior features of this vehicle our steering wheel controls, it's got a trip computer, tire pressure monitoring system, AM FM satellite radio, leather seats, manual climate control, it's also got heated seats, it also comes with the uh, heavy duty rubber floor mats. So uh, let's take a walk around and uh, see what our impressions okay, are. Okay now here it is the outside walk around of the 2017 Wrangler Rubicon. Like I said, it does have the LED lights. It also has driving lights, uh, rope bars to uh, tow it out. Does not have a winch or anything like that. This is just a street vehicle. Uh, again, I did say this is the four door model. Has very nice wheels. tow hooks on the back it's got a trailer package they like said this thing does two up to 200 pounds it's got some pretty good off-road tires which do give it a bit of a rough ride Okay, this is the Jeep 3.6 liter, which I believe would equate to about 220 cubic inches. Uh, engine has 285 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. It's got a very high air intake, so you can drive it through some water, as it is a Jeep. I've never actually worked on one of these, but this one looks like it wouldn't be all that fun to work on. Not a lot of space in here. All right, so let's take a look at the inside. All right, so got your nice leather interior, leather wrapped steering wheel. So you got your Bluetooth controls, your trip computer controls, and your radio controls right here. Automatic transmission. AM FM satellite radio with Bluetooth. Auxiliary port. It does have the manual climate control. Got cruise control, heated seats, power mirrors. And all the top and everything does come off. Not going to do that today. Nice embossed Rubicon on the seats. Off road axle lock and everything right here. Power locks.
decent sized back seat. All right, pretty decent space in the back. This has about just a little under 13 cubic feet of cargo space. Padded roll bars all around. All right, now let's take this thing for a ride. This one has a 116 inch wheelbase so it's a bit longer than the two door obviously which actually gives it a better ride it doesn't sound feel like you're hopping around very much which the two door version at least the one I had driven uh, did gauges really you've got uh, gas gauge you got your miles per hour you got your RPM and you got the temperature gauge that's really all you get it does have a uh, LED um, readout here. It has a digital speedometer. It tells you your average MPG, distance to empty, tire pressures. It's got a timer. And then you got your vehicle info. Or you can set up personal settings if you want the lights to come on when you unlock it and things like that. does have your uh, typical high and low range gearbox all these uh, these panels do come off I'm not going to take them off today because 
it's just a pain and it actually it looks like it's going to rain at any minute now so I don't really want to get rained on it's got some uh, Alpine speakers up here in the back down to the floor I haven't tried the radio and obviously on YouTube you can't do the copyright nonsense it does have uh, power locks got power mirrors really it's got just about anything you want Here, like I said, it does have good pickup. I'm up to 45, and I didn't even put it all the way down. Not the most aerodynamic vehicle, but you're not buying this for economy. You're buying this for fun. It is a decent day-to-day -day car. Uh, driving it around the city. It would be fairly easy to park. Very comfortable uh, to sit in. And when you have your foot on the, the gas pedal, the center console is a bit intrusive. I find that to be the case on a lot of cars these days, which I don't care for. Sometimes you can't even move your right leg because they make them so big. This one's not bad. Got a couple cup holders here. Got your typical Jeep grab handle on there. I mean, overall, this is a very comfortable vehicle to drive. It's a lot more refined than the Jeeps that I remember. Now, I'm uh, just driving on a two-lane road here, doing about 50 miles an hour. It's not terribly loud. It's not as quiet as some of the other cars that I've driven or that I own. But, actually, it's, it's not too bad. You hear a lot of wind noise because it's not that narrow right now, so that will add a lot. But overall, it's not bad. Fairly quiet. One thing I like that they give you is you got a nice little tray to keep stuff in here, like pens, sunglasses, what's in here now. Braking is very good. It doesn't have a tendency to pull. It's got four-wheel disc brakes. So, just like most cars these days. Not going to have a problem with that. I find the seats, while they're not... Let's let this guy pass. I find the seats in this vehicle to be very comfortable. They are not as wide as I would like them, but one thing that uh, it's got a nice bolster on the back, but not so much on the on the lower part of the seat, which for me is fine. I find a lot of cars have a very hard bolster on the side these days, and it makes it, it'll give you a sore butt after you drive it for a while. Leather seats, especially, they make them so hard. I don't know why they're trying to be sporty I mean if you have a, just a regular sedan or a sport utility you're just driving it every day it doesn't have to be sporty not everything has to be sporty that's my personal opinion the headrest is a little bit intrusive I like to sometimes have my head back a little more or if you're you know, driving a long distance or something you want to take a or you're waiting in the store for somebody in the parking lot and you want to take a little rest put your head back this one you really can't do it unfortunately but you can even take it off and sometimes you can flip them around I'm not sure if these are adjustable I'd have to check and find out one cool thing is uh, that I see right here is they have a little the Jeep front end that's uh, embossed onto the uh, window. And it's actually also on the wheels. It's, it just looks like a little Jeep. It's actually very cool. So I hope you like the uh, review of the 2017 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.